You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, yesterday I did a video on ESPN's hit piece on Bennett Sons owner Robert Sauver. And ESPN put out this hit piece. It is filled with allegations of uh, racism misogyny, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very long. And I said at the end of my video that I do believe that he would end up losing his franchise. He would actually be forced to sell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the process is now in the works as the NBA has opened up an investigation into the allegations laid out by ESPN on Suns owner Robert Sauver. So here we go. On ESPN, NBA launches investigation into Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver over racism, sexism charges. And I do believe, guys, that you guys probably know the same thing that I'm thinking also. This is a wrap. Robert Sarver's done. He is done. There's no other way to put it, okay? So the NBA, they're going to do their investigation. But man, I do believe at the end of the day, it's going to be over for him. So let's read this. The NBA is launching an investigation into Phoenix Suns, into the Phoenix Suns and the conduct of majority owner Robert Sarver. The lead said Thursday, the lead's announcement that it will use the law firm Wattel Lipton to conduct the investigation comes in the wake of ESPN publishing an investigative story based on interviews with more than 70 current and former Suns employees who describe a sometimes toxic and hostile workplace of racism and sexism during Sarver's 17 year tenure in Phoenix. Now, majority of the people in the hit piece are anonymous. However, Earl Watson, who was the coach of the Phoenix Suns, uh, he actually detailed um, the allegations of uh, Sarver using the N word and that kind of thing. OK, but for the most part, most of the people are anonymous. So keep that in mind. Referencing the referencing NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, one current business operations employee told ESPN, quote, if the commissioner comes in and investigates to see what the F is going on in Phoenix, he would be appalled. The allegations contained in today's ESPN article are extremely serious, and we have directed the Wattel Lipton law firm to commence a comprehensive investigation. NBA Executive President of Communications, Mike Bass, said in a statement, the NBA and WNBA remain committed to providing a respectful and inclusive workplace for all employees. Once the investigation is completed, its findings will will provide the basis for any league action. Now, I will say this, guys. If the NBA conducts their investigation and they find that there is no, valid, no validity to any of these allegations that ESPN laid out. ESPN will take a bit time credibility hit. There is no doubt about it. So there's either two things that's going to come out of this. OK, Robert Sarver is going to lose his team. He's going to be forced to sell or ESPN. They're going to lose all their credibility. So ESPN putting out this hit piece. They better hope that the NBA agrees with what they actually found. They better be praying for that. Ladies and gentlemen, ESPN, they are done. They're already tanking anyway. But if the NBA finds nothing and ESPN is found out to be nothing but liars, man, that's going to be horrible for them. OK. In a statement prior to the NBA announcement, Sarver said he would support any leak inquiry. To the allegations made against him, quote, I would entirely welcome an impartial NBA investigation, which may prove our only outlet for clearing my name and reputation of our of an organization of which I'm so very proud. Sarver said Suns legacy partners, presidents and CEO Jason Raleigh also said they would welcome any investigation by the league into the allegations. Two current Suns employees said there is considerable internal support throughout the organization for an independent investigation into the franchise's culture and that many employees would, as one said, be, quote, 
more than willing to talk to investigators. Said the second employee, a lot of people view this as their chance to right this ship. Both employees noted, however, that a looming concern voiced among the organization's rank and file is whether sensitive information as well as their identities would remain confidential to ward off any potential retaliation from Sun's leadership. Said the first Sun's employee, we have to be protected. Now, here's the thing. If you guys remember the whole Washington uh, football team uh, email scandal, the NFL was investigating them. OK, they weren't investigating John, John Gruden. But however, John Gruden became the fall guy because he was actually emailing the president of the Washington football team at the time, known as the Redskins, Bruce Allen. And his personal emails got out there and he ended up losing his job. So I'm wondering if NBA owners who have been communicating with Robert Sarver. I'm pretty sure the NBA, NBA is going to go in and dig into everything. So there may be some other people in the NBA circle that is sweating right now if it actually goes that far. And I do believe it could end up going that far, folks. Sun's minority owner, Jayam Najafi, said in a statement that he would aid any NBA investigation. Quote, the conduct he is alleged to have committed has stunned and saddened me and is unacceptable. Najafi said of Sarver, the well-being and safety of every son's employee, player, coach and stakeholder is first and foremost our priority. My sincerest sympathy goes out to all those lives and professions that have been impacted. Although today's revelations fall under the jurisdiction of the league, which decides and takes any action based on its findings, I offer my support to ensure there is full accountability. The NBA PA says it was continuing to review the allegations against Sarver. Quote, we view these allegations as serious and a cloth the league's decision to conduct an investigation. The NBPA said in a statement, we will defer any further comments until that process has been concluded. In Silver's tenure since 2014, the NBA has launched two major investigations with the Clippers and Atlanta Hawks. Now, I'm pretty sure most people remember the, uh, the Clippers, that was the whole Donald Sterling thing. Now, Atlanta Hawks thing, I completely forgotten about that, to be honest with you guys. OK, but it says centered significantly on ownership behavior that ended with sales of the team, terminating an owner for violations of the NBA's constitution and bylaws take takes a three fourths vote of the Leeds Board of Governors. Silver gave a lifetime suspension to former Clippers owner Donald Sterling in April 2014, following the release of audio tapes that included his using racist language about black people, including his players. Sterling made a subsequent appearance on CNN that further damaged his standing in, in the league. And the Clippers were ultimately sold for an NBA record two billion dollars to Steve Ballmer in August 2014. Under the pressure of, of a league investigation, Hawks minority owner Bruce Levinson sold the franchise to a group led by Tony Ressler for $850 million in 2015. Levinson was part of a league inquiry that included the self-reporting of an internal email that he sent that included several racially ting observations on the Hawks game night fan base. Now, I don't remember any of that. I don't know what he actually said in those emails. The Dallas Mavericks were the center of a league investigation into sexual harassment and workplace misconduct claims in the aftermath of a Sports Illustrated article in 2018. In the wake of the league's findings, Mavericks owner Mark Cuban donated $10 million to charities, including those combating domestic violence towards women. Cuban was not suspended or punished. Now, the difference is with Mark Cuban, that had nothing to do with race. But these other two inf incidents with the Atlanta Hawks and the LA Clippers, that was race based. So, the hammer was brought down on them. And I do believe that Robert Sarver is going to face not not a similar fate, but the same fate. The NBA is going to hammer this guy. They're going to force him to sell. He's going to get a lot of money, but he won't be involved with the NBA anymore. You know, also, he'll probably end up being forced to sell the WNBA team. Also, you know, the Phoenix um, Mercury, because he owns that team, too. And. The board of governors, the NBA owners, they're involved with that, too. 
because any sale of the WNBA franchise has to go through the NBA owners, not the WNBA. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. The floodgates are opening right now. Robert Sarver, I do believe he's going to be toast. If you don't believe that he's going to be toast, let me know down in the comments below. This will not end well for Robert Sarver. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.